Hello friends, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Katrina and I just vlog about my daily life since moving to Seattle where I really don't know anybody. And in today's vlog, we are gonna be doing another home project as we slowly try to make the house that we got, you know, our vision and not, you know, all gray and beige. So I will insert some like pictures at some point, maybe, maybe right now, but at the point when we bought the house, every single room was gray walls and a beige ceiling. So this is the combo that you see right here and we are slowly getting rid of it room by room. And today's project is the guest bedroom which we're in right now. And I will walk you through kind of what we've done so far. Okay, so when you walk into the room, um, we have covered the bed. We've had the bed in here for a few months. This was the first thing we bought when we moved into the house. It's from Wayfair. I love it. It was not that expensive. Very cute. But um, we put up this crown, um, or not crown molding, we put up this trim um, that we actually got from another room of the house upstairs. I'll show you in a second. And we put this up already and I've um, caulked it and filled in the holes. So we did that and this is at... 37 inches if anyone is wondering at the typical chair rail height and then we are gonna do these box trim Boxes like all around this room. So it's gonna look kind of like this We measured this one out just to see if we like the dimensions and everything So there's gonna be two on this wall two on either side of the window one here at the bottom three I believe on this wall and then like a little piece of trim right here or like another two boxes right there. And then that's gonna be the overall vibe. And um, we are gonna be changing out this light fixture. I need to place an order for that today. And we are gonna be painting this room a stunning chocolate brown. And it is gonna be this chocolate color. Let me see if you can really see it here in the light. It might be a little better. I feel like that is a more accurate representation of it. We're gonna be painting this room a chalk, there you go. That's pretty accurate to the way it looks in real life. This stunning chocolate brown color from Benjamin Moore and it's called Chocolate Sunday, very fitting. And we are gonna be painting everything from the ceiling, the trim, the box trim, everything to the molding, um, to the baseboards, the doors, everything is gonna be chocolate brown. It's gonna be a very dramatic, change but i think it will look um i think it will feel super cozy like i want it to feel kind of like a cozy den when people come in here i'm going for like the polo lounge like ralph lauren really chic hotel and we're gonna have um what was i gonna say like big white lamps on each nightstand and we're gonna bring in some like lightness that way and then the headboard is obviously like a light color so that will be a really cool contrast bedding will be white and then we'll get some like velvet curtains to hang there that will be like probably like a creamy color so that will bring in some of the lightness and it will be like a really cool contrast and then let me show you the nightstands we found on facebook marketplace they're so cute i absolutely love them these ones right here. Um, we're currently using one of them upstairs in the bedroom just for the time being, but I loved that they were, they had some like really cute, like traditional elements to them, but they still had like a few like modern touches as well. Like they weren't like uber traditional. They're kind of that nice like transition piece so I love that and I love that they're black that would be a nice contrast has like a nice drawer in there so I got those off of Facebook marketplace we went and got them last week with Michael to drive an hour out to get them so bless them for putting up with that and for the pair of these it was $300 so it's not the cheapest Facebook marketplace find ever but these are solid wood um, they're a little bit older and they're solid wood versus a lot of the um, nightstands I was looking at on like 
Wayfair or Amazon that were a little cheaper were all particle board or like, you know, not real wood and like mass produced and not so unique in the in that same kind of price range of like around 150 to 200 dollars per nightstand because i really don't want to spend a ton on nightstands in the guest bedroom so i thought that was actually pretty good for the quality of those because even target like they have such shitty nightstands and they're like over 100 bucks plus tax and i'm like what is going on with the world that nightstands are that expensive? But here we are. So yeah, today we are gonna be doing the trim and slowly putting that up. So insert that footage here. have all of the bottom trim up around the room and we are starting to cut the top trim and I am prepping the bottom trim so I'm using some DAP ta -da, not sponsored to caulk the, um, the boxes and to fill the nail gun holes for caulking you'll need like a caulk gun it'll just make your life a lot easier so I'm using the same thing but in a caulk gun and then to fill the holes I am using same thing but in a little squeezy tube just so I have a little bit more control and that is what we're currently doing so I have five boxes left so yay but yeah and then we're just gonna keep going until we finish all of the bottom and then um i'm gonna help michael do the top that's it Would you like to talk about what color it is? This is Benjamin Moore's 
chocolate sundae, and I'm so excited. Oh, that looks so good. That looks like molten chocolate cake. Wait, lean over it again, you can see your reflection in the paint. <laughs> That's gonna look so good. And do you want to take us around the room before you start painting it? So we've officially finished all the trim, um, <laughs> as you can see, and we caulked everything and filled all the nail holes. So that took us, I think, three days total, um, four days. And um, we got a new light fixture for the ceiling, so we're gonna keep that up there for now. And I'm gonna start with edging the room. And then everything is going to get chocolate sundae on it. Everything. All the trim, ceiling, doors, closet doors, everything. So it's going to be a very brown room. And um, I'm a little nervous because I feel like painting the ceiling dark brown is going to be interesting. But I saw it on Pinterest and I really want to try it. And if I absolutely hate it, then I'm just going to have to paint it white. And... Um, it is what it is. If I hate it, it's gonna get a paint. It's gonna get a coat of paint of white. So, it's fine. <laughs> Michael's like literally looking at me. He's like, "You better not hate it." But I don't know. We're gonna try it out and see how we feel. Well, how's it going? everyone happy Friday it has been several days um, not several days a week since I updated you last I was in the midst of painting the guest room and um, we have since finished painting we're all done with that room we're going to show you the little reveal I feel like I still I'm still waiting for my lamps to come in from Wayfair that I ordered and I want to like spruce up the bedding, but I don't know if I'll, ha I'll, f I'll be able to do that before our guests come, unfortunately. Like our bedding isn't bad, like we have nice sheets, we have like a nice fuzzy blanket, but I really wanted to get like a more luxurious um, duvet and duvet cover so that it's like nice and floofy. I just don't think, I like a floofy duvet cover on the bed and it's not that. And I think it also looks better like visually and I wanted to get some like throw pillows or something. Um, but I don't know if I'll just be able to get that done before Ari and Maria get here. So we'll see. But for now, it's Friday. It's lunchtime. Um, the house is not like being torn apart, but there's lots of people there. So we just thought we'd go grab a quick bite to eat. Um, luckily, work today isn't too busy. Um, and I've been working since like 5 a.m. So I have earned my lunch break. But yeah, we're gonna go get a bagel and then I'll show you the um, room so far. Also look, I got my nails done and I'm sorry, this is like the perfect autumnal like green, but that's like almost black. So cool. Anyway, that's the update. Anything you wanna add?
You ready for my little haul? Look. We went to TJ's and we got a ton of fresh flowers. So hopefully they'll last until our and Marie get here on Thursday. Um, I didn't get a ton, but I thought this would be enough for at least one bouquet for like the kitchen or something. And then I can get some more right before they come in case these die. So I got those. Um, we got some like dahlias and um, some of these flowers and some little thistles. So a nice little fall bouquet. I got some mint to plant in my little herb garden. And then we got a ton of pumpkin stuff. Are you ready? They're butternut squash pasta. Butternut squash pasta is so cute. And I mean, this may be absolute. Oh, look, I got a honey crisp apple candle. Smell. Smells like an apple. I don't know. I thought that might be fun. But it's not in a little cute pumpkin. You know, can't use it for decor afterwards. I know. I got some of that too. I got tomatoes for tomato soup tonight. Oh, no, I'm going to leave them. Good plant that. I got some uh, autumnal harvest pasta sauce to have with this. It might be garbage, but I decided to try it and the ingredients are really good. I got some pancake mix that we really like that we get every year, the pumpkin one. Get a box of that every year. I got some sage for the tomato soup. Butter. I got some shallots. Look at these cute little kids. So I got some of those. Also, they have like little, pump you know how you paid like $3 for that pumpkin? They're selling those at TJ's for like a dollar. So I'm gonna see how the pumpkin harvesting goes tomorrow. I think I'm probably gonna buy just big pumpkins for the porch at the patch. And then I think I'm gonna go to t back to TJ's and get a shitload of those to put in this bowl to have as like a centerpiece like through um, Thanksgiving and um, just keep that around as like decor. So I got those and I got a can of pumpkin puree in case I wanna make pumpkin bread again. Okay, now for Target, I got, I got a cookbook because a lot of the recipes actually seemed like stuff that you would really like. So like pretzel sticks and um, there was the perfect steak, braised pulled pork, and chicken parm, another re recipe, breaded like chicken katsu chicken, perfect pork chops, chicken breasts that are actually good, chicken fried steak. I do actually really like chicken fried steak. Uh, mom's pot roast. So there was actually like a ton of stuff that I thought you would eat in here. Honey butter chicken biscuits. Um, steak sandwich. So a lot of stuff that I thought it would actually be things that you would eat and the desserts in here are really nice and they seemed like, not like weird recipes, but like, you know, things that you as a picky eater would eat. I got you another. Oh, I'm actually out of that. Yeah, so I got you, Michael uses this baby wash for his eczema um, because it's like dermatologist and eczema association approved and stuff. So we started getting him this. I got another candle. Is this the apple cider one? Yeah, it's the exact same one. So I got another one of this because we're out. And then I got one for upstairs because I'm out of the one upstairs. And I got the black one. It's all, what smell is this? Kind of similar. So I got one for that for the upstairs. And then I can have some of that pour. I got some hand sanitizer because I realized I didn't have any. And then I restocked on chemical patches. So I'm out of those. I'm almost out of tampons, so I got some more of those. I got another one of these containers for sugar, um, powdered sugar. And then I realized I don't think we have any body wash in the guest bathroom for when Ari and Maria come here, so I got a little body wash. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have gotten shampoo and conditioner. And then I got another one of these containers. It's a different size. Yeah, but I thought this was still like a nice, good, like size. So yeah, them's my hole. And the stuff at Trader Joe's was only like sixty bucks.
stunning. Are these? Stop. So beautiful. All right, so, hold on. I'll show you the progress on the room. So I love how like you transition from the majority of the house, which is like really nice and bright. So all of the kitchen, the entryway, and this hallway, and these, like this trim, is all Benjamin Moore Simply Matte in, um, Simply White and Matte. And then the living room is eventually also gonna be Benjamin Moore Simply White. And then when you walk into this room and open the door, you get like an immediate like contrasting difference, which I think is so cool because you get a nice rich chocolatey brown. I feel like that looks black on camera. Uh, it doesn't from here. It doesn't from there. It was just, it's hard to pick up the really bright outside yeah. to the really dark wall, but from over here, you can definitely tell that it's brown. So we did the entire room in Benjamin Moore Chocolate Sunday, which is, I think, the perfect brown tone. It's not too purple, it's not too red, but it's still like warm and it's not like cool toned. But I think with a brown, you need to like make sure it's that nice like coffee, chocolatey brown and it doesn't lean too like into the like poopy brown territory. So yeah, we did the Benjamin Moore chocolate sundae in matte on the walls, and then we did the Benjamin Moore advanced satin um, for the trim on the doors. So the trim here on these doors and on this door, and then on the windowsill, but the rest of this trim is all the matte paint. So we got this trim we took off from the bedroom upstairs and we recycled it so we took it down from that bedroom and we put it up here we cleaned it up and did that but the other trim this box trim we got from home depot i can put the exact specs of like whatever trim we got on the screen but that's what we did there these um these nightstands we got from facebook marketplace there's a second one that's gonna go on the other side um but mike was using one of them now currently um, this is just a little gift from one of my friends. She actually made this by hand. So I'm going to put some flowers in here for when our guests come over. And then I have two lamps ordered from Wayfair. So those are coming in, I believe, tomorrow. And I need to figure out what bedding to do here. Because I have, like, sheets and stuff. And then I just have, like, a little fuzzy blanket. But I want to get, like, an actual, um, duvet. And, like, arrange this bed nicely. And then we have, like, an old painting um that i did it's not my favorite but it'll do for now and then the other thing we did was we replaced the blue light that was here that was like super outdated early 2000s this is cheap like it's not that expensive but i still think it looks so much better than it was here before um and it was like 75 bucks on wayfair so that's the majority of the room makeover we're going to keep it at that um we might eventually put like another bench or piece of furniture in here and then i want to hang some drapes but for now i think this is the majority of the room complete so i think it turned out pretty cool <laughs>